hey beautiful welcome back to another video if you are new please subscribe and join the lita family and don't forget to hit that bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video and i hope you enjoy this video and you decide to stay and of course i would love to have you here as part of the lita family <laughs> i'm gonna start with prep was well, kind of prep her nails were a little bit long so i'm gonna cut them short so that they don't show on the underside just you know a fresh set i like to do this if the client allows me to of course but i'm gonna cut it short i'm going to file them a little bit so the you know edges aren't jagged so i'm gonna push the cuticle back then i'm gonna go in with kiara sky's cuticle bit and lift that dead skin that's attached to her natural nail and go around the cuticle area and then i will go in with panna's sanding band today i want to show you melody Susie's new jade e-file and you guys i love it i love how small it is you're gonna see how it fits in my hand my hands are really small and the handpiece is nice and slim it is very quiet and super powerful okay i'm not kidding when i say it is powerful it does not bog down basically meaning that it won't slow down once it hits the surface of the nail so you're really gonna love it just trust me i think it's really high quality they're definitely just doing better and better with each release of their e-file so i'm gonna leave the link in the description box with the promo code if you're interested did i mention that it's low vibration and it's really quiet let's listen Transits going off to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive, get down dirty, like, like the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel it. All right, so I am cleansing and dehydrating before I apply her tips. I am going to go in with Kiara Sky's XXL Coffin Tips, and I'm going to measure her tips sidewall to sidewall, make sure they fit properly. I'm going to go in with this Bondini nail glue and just glue her tips and place the glue on the well part of the tip and then just place them down. And once I'm done with that, I will be blending her tips to her natural nails with the same sanding band I used to remove her shine and etch her nails. But before I do blend her tips to her natural nails, I actually do go in and cut the tips to her desired length. And then I will go in with Tammy Taylor's peel and stick file. It's the 100 grit. I file the excess uh, sidewalls or tips that are sticking out the side. And these are pre-shaped, so you don't need to do a lot of filing before application. Once I'm done with those steps, then I will go in with blending the tip. And then I will be getting prepped for acrylic application. Beauty, pray on my weakness. Set this 
All right, so now I'm going to dust all of the debris off and I'm going to use Young Nail Swipe. I'm going to cleanse and dehydrate. Let me know what you guys think about me telling you what I'm going to do before I do it. I feel like if I say what I'm going to do and then you guys watch it, it gives you both, you know, the explanation and then also the visual representation. I don't know. I feel like it helps, but just give me some feedback so that I know for sure. All right, so I'm going to take an extra step and dehydrate again using JC Beauty Concepts Dehydrator. And then I will go in with, not polishes, uh, I think it's Extra Bond, oh, Triple X Bond Primer. And then I will be getting into acrylic application. I just want to warn you now, I struggled with acrylic application. So I skipped to the other hand. You will see, I show you my pinky or her pinky application it was so hot and the lights didn't help so i tried i forget where i seen it so comment below if you know you were the one that shared this but i, I don't remember but i used ice water for my monomer i put it in a bowl and then i tried the application and it was a lot smoother it wasn't um, perfect i feel like i should have taken the monomer out before like just let it cool off a little bit and then taken it out i don't know you guys just, you know, give me feedback. Um, I welcome feedback. Just leave a comment below and let me know what you guys do or any tips if you have them. But I was really struggling this day. It was a very hot here in Florida. And then on top of that, the lights and everything. And I'm just like, what am I doing wrong? Like, what am I doing wrong? So, but the ice or cooling down the monomer really, really helped. Okay. So I'm going to go in with, this is Nude Panther by not polish beautiful color it actually looks different in this lighting so i insert a picture at the end for the end result so you guys can see the difference because it does look a little darker on the camera or on my my camera so i don't know but i'm going in with not polishes kalinsky 100 kalinsky brush in the number 14 which i love 
and I'm gonna use Zule's Smooth Set Monomer and the Dappen Dish I'm using is so beautiful. I love it. You guys know I've always go gone back to my other um, Dappen Dish. Well, it's not a Dappen Dish. It's actually a votive candle. Candle. It's a votive candle holder. Um, but I still love it. But this one just looks so pretty. So check it out on Zule's website. I will leave the link in the description box if you are interested. So yeah, so I'm going to go into the acrylic application. I always recommend to use all the products from the same brand. It helps with everything just working really well together. But you know me, I'm always using different products. So I'm sure if I was consistent with just one brand and just use everything the same all the time, I, would, I wouldn't struggle as much, you know, but I'm always using something different because I love to try new things, try different, I don't know, that's just what I do. But if that is not what interests you, then definitely stick to one brand and allow everything to work really nice together. The sun is going down now. so that was it i don't know if you noticed that i could have taken the monomer out sooner because it started to become very liquidy so just keep that in mind it is definitely a helpful hack so now i'm going to go in with tammy taylor's peel and stick 100 grit again and i'm going to file my sidewalls, file under 
or on the underside to get rid of any jagged edges. Make sure my file is nice and parallel to get a nice crisp square shape and then file the tip. And then I'm going to go around or on the surface to flatten out the surface of her nail. It was a lot to file since the acrylic was just adding up. It was just so hot, like I said, and it was drying so fast and I hadn't gotten my shape right yet. So I just kept adding acrylic. So these are pretty thick. So I had to do a little bit more filing. After filing and leveling everything out, I will go around the cuticle area and blend the acrylic to the natural nail. Uh, I use Erica's ATA's uh, Safety Fit. I always leave the link in the description box because I've gotten questions on it before. But that's the bit I use. And then I buff, she washes her hands, and then we will get into nail art. So I will come back then because... We all know that doing French nails is not easy, so this is what this design is. It is a French tip, and it's also a sugared French tip. Stick around for that.
All right, so now I'm going in with Base Coat by Kira Sky. I saw this on TikTok, so if you guys know who you saw it from, again, I don't remember who, it's just me scrolling on my For You page, and I saw that if you put Base Coat on and then try your French tip or any nail art, it's a little bit easier to apply because it doesn't slide everywhere, you know, with your nail art brush. Maybe it just keeps it from spreading and it has a little bit more of a crisp line who knows but i'm gonna go in with i lime you this color by madam glam it's a beautiful light minty green she chose this color and then we're gonna go in with the iridescent powdered sugar i'm gonna use zule's nail art brushes i bought her set and i love them so check them out again the link will be in the description box if you are interested watch me struggle through this french I don't know what tip to give you other than trying to match the sidewalls, like mark them so that they are even on each side. And also putting the nails up against each other to make sure the French part or, you know, where your curve is, is pretty much level too. So you can mark them, make them level, and then that is it. But let me know if you guys have any questions. It is very hard. So we're going to get this done and then I'm going to show you the end result. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this is of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances say I'm nothing for right I like it all with the cherry on top Be one of the things I love We don't have to move so fast Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away Time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked. Okay, my apologies if you hear my stomach growling. It's around lunchtime, okay, so I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> but you guys will notice that when I'm doing one nail or the pinky on her right hand, I the other hand, or I should say the other pinky on the other hand is curing. Hopefully that made sense. You guys know what I mean. So I'm switching from one nail on one hand to that nail, the same nail on the other hand to try to make it go faster. And the reason I do that is so that it, um, cures and it doesn't spread you know because if I do all four nails and then have her put her hand in the gel polish might have you know like spread a little bit or had a chance to get messed up or you know what I mean I like to do it that way I feel like it, it is a little bit more or keeps it a little bit more crisp I know maybe it's in my head but just letting you know in case you know just a little trick okay so now I'm going in with Glosset by Not Polish I love this top coat I 
I'm going over the part that's supposed to be considered the nail bed because she wanted a shiny finish. And let me know if this is how you guys do it. I wasn't sure because I was like, I'm not going to do a whole coat on the whole nail and then make it thicker when I have to go in again with top coat to apply the sugar glitter, if you know what I mean. I didn't want to make it super thick. So I just applied it on the nude color first, had her cure, and I don't know why. I guess I'm swiping it up so it doesn't run down. Who knows? But there, there is a, a reason why I was doing that. And then I go in to, um, or once I cure, I go in to apply the sugar glitter. All right, so now I'm going to put some clear top coat on my little art palette here. And then I'm going to use, this brush is by Zulay's. It also comes in that kit I was telling you about. But I'm going to use this to apply the clear. And I like it because it's nice and precise and it makes it go a little bit faster instead of using the striper brush. And then once I go around the French area, I will pour the sugar glitter on there. And then we will cure and then reveal. You're going to um, scrape the excess off and then reveal it. I think I showed you before, but yeah, you guys. Then that is it. And then you use some cuticle oil. Make the hands look really cute. I show you a photo at the end. Oh, I am pushing the glitter in a little bit. That definitely helps with longevity because her nails still look beautiful. We've been to different places and I keep telling her we should take some pictures in this lighting and this lighting and it just looks really beautiful. And then the butterflies I got from Amazon. I will have them also on my Amazon storefront. Give me a thumbs up please for effort. I appreciate it. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Join the Lita family. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you are here. Do not give up on learning. There's always room to grow and trust the process. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. I don't have nails, so I'm going to snap. Next video. Love you guys. Bye.